Chevy Trailblazer Bravara with the 4.2 liter engine and this is the same as GMC Envoy Isuzu Ascender Saab 9X this actually is a 2005 but it goes from 2003 up to about 2009 with all these vehicles they all have the 4.2 liter engine uh, the water pump has come better on this engine I'm gonna be showing here let's see if the camera can see when it moves It's moving like this, it's dancing all over the place. So we're gonna go ahead and replace the water pump. All right, and the first thing I'm gonna be doing is I'm gonna try to, to loose this nut for the tank clutch. 36 millimeter wrench here. This is half drive uh, ratchet here. Now with these two spaces here, with these two spaces, I'm gonna be locking the two nuts, the two bolts here on the fan, fan clutch so it wouldn't spin. And I'm gonna leave it loose like that, the way it is right now. And I'm gonna come back later on. I'm gonna be removing this hose here, the upper radiator hose. Have a bucket on the floor because uh, some antifreeze is gonna come out. And now I'm gonna be removing these two pipes here. I'm gonna be removing from this, uh, from this, um, like a bracket here, and the trout, and the trout here. These pipes, they have a lot of pressure against, against the trout here. With these pipes out of the way here, out of this uh, like a bracket here, uh, from the uh, from the trout, it's gonna be much easier to to take the the whole assembly out, the fan clutch with the with the trout. What I did was I tied them. They are tied, as you can see here, this small rope right there. Now, one thing to mention, a lot of people cut the trout here in this area to, in order to take it out because of the, the mouth here of the radiator for the upper radiator hose is on the way and there is no space, there is almost it's very tight so they, they end up taking a, a piece out of the trout here. Now, that's very uh, respected for anybody who wants to do that um, because everybody does it in a different way and that has to be very respected by anybody. So I'm not gonna cut it here. Instead of what I, what I do is I, I take this uh, uh, cross member, upper cross member here, whatever you call it. It takes about two minutes to remove it. And then I remove this uh, rubber uh, bracket here. It takes about one minute to remove it. And then you are free to, uh, to get this, uh, the whole assembly, the fan clutch and uh, the trout out of uh, out of there i'm gonna be removing the 13 millimeter bolts first and then the 10 millimeter bolts you only lose this one Or 10 millimeter bolt. Now I'm gonna be removing the 10 millimeter bolt.
if you follow this bracket here down here it has a 10 millimeter nut all you do is take the nut out so you can uh, move it like this I'm gonna throw a little bit of uh, penetrating oil here Now remember this is already loose so now I'm just gonna spin it to take it out. Ten millimeter bolt here. And another one here. Now this is ready to come out. But the first thing you do is uh, put the fan clutch in a position that is going to be easier for you. And put it in this position like this. So it will come out easily. Put the pipes out of the way there. And keep them tied the way I did it. Tied with a piece of rope. Keep them that way uh, with a rope. So they don't, they are not putting pressure on the, on the trowel here without having to cut the trowel right there. There is no need to cut here anything because the lines there are tight that way so they are not putting pressure against the trout. These are our 10 millimeter bolts here. And this is a 3 8 here. And now it's a time to, to inspect this, uh, this belt very good. It is in very good condition, so there is no need to replace it. See all the play it has? That is the water pump. So I throw some penetrating oil and I left it like that for about 10 minutes. And I'm going to tap it right now see what happens. The pole is very stuck on the water pump. There we go. Uh, he is Thomas. It was very stuck. Very loose. One, two, three, four, five, ten millimeter bolt for the water pump. This is a uh, 400 grit here, um, sandpaper, 3M.
new water pump here. I'm gonna proceed to install it. We're gonna get two bolts. Make sure they go inside by hand a lot, as much as you can. Now, one thing to mention really quick is uh, if you're not sure, so you can do it with the torque specification. Don't take chances if you're gonna, if you're afraid you're gonna break this, uh, this, uh, this bolt. So I just tie them by filling them. But the correct way to do it is uh, to uh, with the torque specification from the manufacturer. I'm gonna see if I can line this here, line it up. The 10 millimeter ball here again. The other one here. This rubber broker here, it has to pass this point here, to the inside, to the front here of the car. That is ready right there.
now that is tight already that 36 millimeter nut I'm gonna be tightening the 10 millimeter bolts first. This is 10 here. Right now I'm gonna be tightening the 13 millimeter bolts. Once you're done, you put uh, the pipes back in place right there and the trout. And don't forget one of the most important things. If you miss this, you miss a lot. Do not forget to bleed out the air out of the cooling system. And after you do this job, you have to bleed out all the air bubbles. You have to let the engine run for about 20 minutes or whatever is necessary or whatever it takes, uh, any, time, any amount of time it takes to bleed out the, the air bubbles from the cooling system. Okay, no more air bubbles, so I'm gonna close this uh, thing right now. So I'm gonna close the radiator cap right now. Thanks for watching the video and God bless you all.